I sometimes feel lucky because I only had a job for about 17 months all my adult life. And those 17 months, unfortunately, were the worst of my adult life. Get me right. Some people were wired to be employees. And that's completely great, as not everyone can be an entrepreneur. But some are not just wired to be employees for whatever reason. They hate their jobs. If you hate your job, I have some ideas for you in this video. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Knowing thyself A few days ago, I was discussing with a female friend when I told her that what I think is the primary problem of most people in the world is that they don't know who they are. Most people are like tall buildings with faulty foundations. This is so because the knowledge of yourself is a foundation for every other thing in your life. It's the knowledge of yourself that will influence every other decision of your life. It's the knowledge about yourself that would determine the kind of courses to study in the college. It's the knowledge of yourself that will determine the kind of people you hang around. It's the knowledge about yourself that will determine the career path you choose and even who you'll marry. Socrates' most popular quote is know thyself. These two words, I think, is more important than any other two words in the English language. Know thyself is a piece of powerful advice because when you don't have a deep understanding about who you are, you can't get anything else right about yourself, your career, or even your marriage. The first thing to do if you hate your job is not to look for a better paid job. The first thing to do is to know who you are. Because if you don't know who you are, choosing a better job or even starting a business will still lead you to the life of unfulfillment. Whenever I talk about this subject, people often ask me, how can I know myself, my strengths and my passion? The best way to answer this question is by telling you the story of how I discovered who I am. It all started when I was the age of 17. I was troubled when I read some things about the importance of self-discovery just as you may be when you watch this video. The first thing I did was to ask myself, how am I different from every other person? And what do I do easily that most people find difficult to do? The answers to these questions did not come easily, but after spending much time alone with myself, I had a better understanding of these questions. I discovered that I love to speak, especially in public, and I also discovered that I love to write my thoughts. The negative part of my self-discovery is that I am very stubborn, probably rude and authoritarian. I also love to create things, especially that people can pay for. This first part of self-discovery gave me some answers, but not a complete answer. I had to continue reading, and when I got a better knowledge about the different professions, I seemed to understand better where I could belong. Yes, the entire picture isn't clear yet, but I was progressing. One day, I saw a book with a friend and out of curiosity, I borrowed the book. The name of the book was Why You Act the Way You Do by Tim Lahaye. It's a book about temperament and it was a miracle for me to come across that book. I started reading about different temperaments, their strengths and weaknesses. I think I read that book more than most books I've ever read. This book did two miracles for me. One, it helped me to be more certain about who I am and it also helped me to know and understand other people. As I embarked on this journey of self-discovery, I also deliberately spent a lot of time alone with myself to think and meditate. By the time I read Why You Act The Way You Do, a couple of times with my two to three year old journey of self-discovery I earlier started, I now know who I am and ever since then, my life simply becomes a game. Life becomes easy for me because since I know myself, it's easier for me to make decisions. I simply know what I should do and what I shouldn't. I know the kind of career that can make me happy and those that will make my life miserable and I can easily choose them. Now, if you hate your job, the first thing to do is to embark on the journey of self-discovery because until people have deep understanding about who they are and how they are different from everyone, they can't know why they are unhappy. You can rewind this video to listen to my stages and steps towards self-discovery. Maybe some of the things I did to discover myself will help you to discover yourself too. It may take some time, but I can tell you that nothing in the world is more rewarding than knowing who you are. Stop living like everyone. 
When I embarked on the journey of self-discovery, the more I knew myself, the farther I went from what everyone thought was normal. At some point, I had to separate myself from most of my friends. I mean, who you are is to determine everything about your life, and that includes who you hang with. When I discovered who I am and that I was going to be an entrepreneur, I knew that I wouldn't leave my life with many references to the academic world, so I decided never to have any degree. When I knew myself, I simply stopped leaving like everyone else. Now, I have a value and a purpose. I can't just watch a movie because everyone watches it. Can it help me to be who I want to be? I can't just watch a soccer match because everyone does. Can it help me in any way? I can't just pursue college degrees because that's what the society says is good. Will that help my future in any way? When you know thyself, the next thing to do is to live differently from everyone. Most employees I know do spend their income faster than they earn it. Now that you know yourself, you don't need to have the desire to be or look like everyone. You don't have to buy the latest phone or drive a new car because everyone does it. You're different and you must have the courage to think that you are better, smarter and greater than everyone. If you think that you are better and smarter than everyone, you don't have to do the foolish things they do, right? Don't be an entrepreneur. When you ask most people who hate their jobs what they'll like to do, their default answer is, I want to be an entrepreneur. I think this is the fault of the entrepreneur advocates like myself. The truth of the matter is that you don't have to have your business to be happy. If you were not wired to be an entrepreneur and you try to be an entrepreneur because you hate your job, you'll be more miserable running a business than you are now. The key is to know why you hate your job, which is another tough exercise. Why do you hate your job? You must be able to analyze honestly the reason why you hate your job. If, for example, the reason why you hate your job is that you are underpaid, then starting a business is not likely to solve that problem. The problem of being underpaid can only be solved by you increasing your skills and value. This is the subject for another video, but I need you to stop thinking that you need to be an entrepreneur because you hate your job. Now, the only reason why you should be an entrepreneur is if when you embark on the journey of self-discovery, you discover that you have what it takes to be a warrior, that you have what it takes to fail a million times and never give up, that you have what it takes to be broke for years and still believe in yourself and your product. If you are not wired to be an entrepreneur and you try to be one, then you'll be more miserable as an entrepreneur than you are now. Again, this is the summary of what I've discussed with you so far. 1. Know thyself, because if you don't know who you are, you can't possibly know the right career path for yourself. 2. Know why you hate your job, because except you know the reason why you hate your job, you can't know what to do. 3. You don't have to be an entrepreneur simply because you hate your job. You can only fight to be an entrepreneur if the results of your self-discovery shows that you have what it takes. I hope this video helps a few people. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Do you love to start your day with high energy? Then we invite you to join our new channel, which was designed to give you daily inspirational videos that will help you to become a high achiever. We call it Inspiration Tube. Look at the description box to join the Inspiration Tube. We love you.